Hi, my name is Dr. Danielle Heinrichs and I'm a lecturer in the School of Education and Professional Studies and I'm also a member of the Griffith Institute for Educational Research. My research focuses mainly on two areas. So I have research within education that looks at literacy and languages, so second language acquisition and things like that. And then I have another body of research, but essentially I've been working on a number of projects that all feed into each other in those two areas. So I've been pretty busy since I started at Griffith. The support here has been fantastic and I've been working on quite a number of research projects, but there are four that I'm most excited about that I'll focus on and they kind of show the trajectory of the work that I've been doing as well and I guess highlight how they're all really connected. So the biggest project that I took the lead for was funded by um, a new researcher grant at Griffith and that was an action research project. I had a wonderful research assistant, Dr. Carla Tapia Parada, involved in helping me with that. We worked with a local high school and looked at decolonizing the teaching of Spanish. So we were able to do a lot of arts-based methods, worked really closely with teachers and were able to create an open access online textbook as well. So the textbook is, um, as I said, open access. It's also bilingual. So Carla was really helpful in ensuring that we had a version of each chapter in a different language. We were also able to include a diary, a travel diary from one of the teachers as an example of everyday language practices and how uh, language evolves throughout a person's learning journey. It also has a lot of videos. It's meant to be really engaging for students. And we were also able to include a lot of the research that informed that in a more digestible form the other big project I've worked on has been a collaboration with the University of Regensburg, supported by Professor Beryl Exley and Associate Professor Sarah Prestridge here at Griffith. And we've been working closely with Professor Mikey Munzakifa and uh, her PhD student Richard Boimer on an app, on an online website to help students learn to spell that also has a dashboard that provides feedback that's personalised for teachers so that they can um, provide more individualised support to improve students' literacy skills and it's all mapped to the Australian curriculum. The more recent project that I've been involved in has looked at multilingual crisis and disaster communication and that's sort of been an offshoot of an NHMRC project that I'm a chief investigator for. The NHMRC project is something that is led by the University of New South Wales and Associate Professor Holly Seal. It's looking at the role of community leaders in um, crisis and emergency communication. And um, as a result of that, I ended up creating some contacts and developing a digital badge at Griffith, where we actually get to work with industry partners who come to us and say, we don't have funds for translation of our materials. We need to do it. Um, can you give us some support to do that? And then we find groups of citizen translators. And in the first cohort, we were able to work with university students as well as the Children's Tumor Foundation. So we, we also incorporated the use of um, generative AI. I'd have to say that the aspect of doing my research that brings me the most satisfaction is certainly when you actually get to see um, something that you've been working on be applied and making a difference to people's lives. So whether that is with the Talidu app and seeing kids working with that and improving their spelling or through the digital badge that I've recently worked on and um, collaborating with the Children's Tumor Foundation and seeing translated materials actually be used that our students um, as citizen translators created, making a difference and making health information more accessible. I, I think those would be the things I'm most um, excited about. So this is the online open access textbook that myself and Carla worked on through the NRG project. And I really like this part, the research behind the textbook, because it allows you to get an idea of the different papers, the teachers that were involved. Some of them didn't want their photos, so I've got AI generated images of them. Um, a little bit about my work, including a presentation that I did for the um, International Association of Applied Linguistics in France in 2023. So you can get an overview of the whole bigger project. Lots of the people's work who we really love as well. So you can um, go and get links to that as well. You can see all of the chapters. We've got um, copies in English and Spanish, as I mentioned, there are resources for teachers to use within some of these as well, with teaching tips, so for the body maps that we did in particular, um, and the feelings wheel that you just saw there. The Talidu app is the literacy one around spelling. Uh, this is the interface, and that was all developed in co collaboration with our colleagues at the University of Regensburg and a very experienced team of IT professionals. This is what the digital badge looks like that um, I've recently created. So the students who were involved in the translation project with the Children's Tumor Foundation 
were able to get one of these digital badges as well as any staff from the Children's Tumor Foundation. So that's been really exciting that they actually get credit and they can include this, this little badge on their LinkedIn and their CVs and things like that if they like as well.